speaker for today is a really, really special speaker. I've had the immense privilege of knowing her dad for the years and years that he's been campaigning, and I'm so excited to be introducing her today. Kateka Wenda is an indigenous Lani woman from West Papua, and she is the most passionate free West Papua activist I have ever met in my life. Please, please show her all the love that we have. Make some noise! My name is Kateka Lali Puragan Kebawak Wenda, and I am an indigenous Lani woman from a land 250 kilometers north of Australia, West Papua. I come here today on behalf of my tribe, the Lani people as well as the 2.2 million indigenous West Papuan people whose voices deserve to be heard today at this climate justice rally. Before I start, I want everyone here today to close your eyes. Close your eyes and listen to me as I describe my homeland. I want you to imagine walking through dense virgin rainforests, orchids and ferns gently brushing your knees, birds of paradise soaring above your heads, tree kangaroos roaming about peacefully. I want you to imagine local tribal people eating sweet potatoes, yams, taro, vegetables singing complex, beautiful ancestral songs around an open fire pit. I want you to imagine roaming about West Papua's beautiful coastline, staring at the blue Pacific Ocean, its huge coral reefs, and its biodiversity. Just imagine. Now, open your eyes. I want you to open your eyes the devastating effects that colonialism is having on my land and people. Ever since Indonesia illegally occupied my land in the early 60s, all these beautiful sights, smells and sounds that I have just mentioned are starting to disappear. The Indonesian government, military and the multinational companies that they work with are all guilty they are all guilty of decades worth of environmental destruction and slaughter, the slaughtering of hundreds and thousands of my people, the indigenous people of West Papua. My homeland, West Papua, is the western half of the island of New Guinea, home to the world's third largest rainforest after the Amazon and the Congo. West Papua is rich in natural resources, including one of the world's largest copper and gold mines, and extensive sources of natural gas, minerals, timber and palm oil. But my question here today, who benefits from these extraction companies? Who benefits? Certainly not my people. For us, indigenous people, the forest is both our supermarket as well as our medicine cabinet. However, road constructions, illegal logging companies, commercial, commercial agricultural expansions have robbed us of this sacred relationship. So why should we here in the UK, why should we care about what's happening in West Papua? My response is this. For too long, for too long the microphone has been hijacked, has been taken away, both knowingly and knowingly, from the voices of indigenous people. I'm here today to remind you that indigenous people comprise only around 6% of the global population, and yet they protect 80% of 
of the biodiversity left in the world. And therefore we must, therefore we must elevate the voices of my people back in West Papua who are fighting for independence.